Hello, I'm Andrew Trisman. Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 as Democratic Denmark. Uh, so, we managed to take over, well, we ended the Italy War. We're still waiting against the war against the Axis, because unfortunately, um, Japan still exists. I'm going to need to deal with that, because no one else is going to. So, uh, at some point, we'll send some troops to the Philippines and then try and figure out how to do an amphibious landing, despite not having any air or sea power. That'll be interesting. Uh, so... I've got a plan. So we build two terrible destroyers, and we use one of them to uh, basically act as, Oh look, we control the sea zone, you can go across. It'll get murdered, probably. That's why we have the backup, just in case it gets killed en route. Uh, so for the moment, we just need to basically sit tight, protect the territory we own. Well, we've conquered, because this is technically territory we're occupying right now. And of course, there is somewhat uh, a resistance. There is actually no resistance now, because we've got our main army sitting on it. But there was resistance, trust me. Uh, the benefit now being we can actually fix all the things we need to fix and actually start producing all the things we need to produce. Um, tanks. Let's actually start uh, making some variants. So, how long are these tanks good for? Mm, need to be upgraded at the end of the year. I don't think it's worth spending the arm um, experience we've got just yet because at the end of the year we'll be upgrading our tanks to um, main battle tanks rather than the variant we've got at the moment. Oh, hello. We've got three tank divisions. How lovely. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Right click. No manpower whatsoever. Yep, that, that happens. <sighs> at least we get like 2k per month extra as people come of age. Um, infrastructure destruction... Cool. How long would it take us to recruit tanks if we look ahead of time? Yeah, sure, I'll do it ahead of time. As long as we actually need the air power. Right now, um, could do with naval. Get destroys tier two. Like 150 days. Yeah, I think we're going to be sitting tight for almost that long anyway. Because we have to. How much do we need to repair? Like, oh yeah, this is the amount of, like, military factories. Look at that. It's terrible. There we go. That's all the stuff we need to repair. Uh, that's pretty bad. At least we're up to 20 factories now. Not, sorry, not 20. 30 factories that we have. But the downside is, of course, because we've conscripted basically everyone. The only people working in the factories are the really old people. Some women. And the really young children. Uh, our factories aren't really as productive as they used to be, which is a shame. Turns out, old women and children, not particularly the best workers. Who'd have thunk it, eh? Who'd have thunk it? Right, you can add to there. Yeah, you're just having problems getting people, are you? No, you've got people. Yeah, you don't have people. I think the rest of them, yeah, you nearly have people. You have people, you have people, yeah. It's just you and you. Okay. If I sacrifice, like, even one infantry unit, it would probably be fine. Uh... You know what? Start your training. You'll consume equipment to do so, but... Might as well get you trained. Nuclear reactors. You know, I could build nuclear reactors now. I'm not gonna. Because here's the kicker. I need to build all the other things. Um, start working on resource gain efficiency. But at the same time, quite frankly, we don't have that many resources. The plus 10% is going to be, like, minimal. Really, in terms of actual numbers. Uh, what could we want instead? Hospital. Yes, we want the best field hospitals possible to conserve what little manpower we have. We really do not have much manpower. By that we mean we have none and can't get any more. Someone invade, like, Japan. Don't make me do it. You're going to make me do it. I know you are. But I'd like it if someone else did it for once. Oh, look, the allies are patrolling the waterways. Doesn't count. Gotta be you. Really? Are Japan actually successfully invading the Philippines? I was going to base my naval stuff off of here. Oh, for God's sake. 
I can't do much about that. Oh well. I'm aware of the low manpower issue. We'll have to fire a couple of people just so we can even like hire the destroyers. Because we need people who can be on the crew. Alright, I need um I need Denmark soldiers. You. Right, yes, you, you can be fired. Fire. Oh my god, like 10k. That number is unheard of. And I'll fire you as well. Actually, which one's lower? Uh, you'll do. The reason being, I want a little bit of surplus. Because when you're training, you do tend to also kind of lose people. And by lose, I mean people die in training. It happens. Uh, night vision might be good. Yeah, let's get night vision. Plus 10% night attack. How are we doing that repair? Getting there slowly. There is a lot to repair though. Like, a lot. Like, a lot. Even before I can start building nuclear reactors. The nuclear reactors take a very long time to build. We'll need them for our fight against the USSR, but even then, we're not going to have air power, so we're going to rely on other people to get air power, so... Nukes aren't really going to be our main game. Of course, you know, we could start building air power if we had the factories, but we'd also need the manpower to put in the planes. So, we need to collapse some of our army. It's not great. Out of interest, I can't deploy down here because it's not called territory, even though I technically own it now. I think that's something that should be changed. Like, even if you if you get something in peace deal, you should be able to deploy in it. Like, I understand not deploying in, like, uh, occupied territory, but since I have this in a peace deal, it's now my actual territory. I kind of think you should be able to deploy in it. Uh, I really don't need anything for here, unless you're saying that we could get naval research time. Sure, you know what? Actually, that might be useful. I really don't want to have battles. I can't afford a battle. No. How do I this training? Slow. Yeah, what do I expect? We're getting to the late game where it's going to start being a bit more... It's going to chug. Let's just put it quite simply. It's going to start really chugging. Okay, artillery's going. Yeah, we're getting there slowly. Anyone making any moves in Japan? No. Philippines? Seems to be somewhat held for now. Hmm. Oh, hello. Is that a big naval battle? Yes, that is the Japanese Navy attacking American submarines. Right, well, how long till that second of destroyer is ready? Not that we particularly care about how powerful our destroyers are, but I thought it might be nice to have a destroyer that isn't First World War. You know, I'm an idealist like that. I really hope I can grab Berlin in the peace deal. But I'm sure it'll go quickly. Which is a shame, because Berlin is a really nice territory. How's construction going? Uh, yeah, we're up to almost 60 factories now. Shouldn't take too long to get back up to normal. Alright, meanwhile, how's the army doing? Uh, training's taking a long time. We're almost there, because you can only train up to uh, regular. The rest has to be done through combat. In fact, I can't really see anyone above regular. We did have a few, didn't we? Am I just imagining this? I swear we had a few units who were trained, like, who had managed to, like, level up through combat. 
Is there a bug where, like, if you tell them to go into, like, training, they go down? I could have sworn we had higher. Maybe there is a bug. That would seem like a very odd bug. It would seem like something that's pretty obvious to patch out. Oh, well, let's get them trained. I'm just imagining it. Oh look, we have manpower! Oh my god, so weird. Get some more tanks. There we go, now I've got no manpower. Right, destroyer 2. Excellent. Let us recruit some destroyers. Build ships. I would like you to build... I guess we could use a sub. They're cheaper to make. They're less detectable. Yeah, right, and we're going to build you, uh, yeah. And I only want, like, three. I'll build one a week, so yeah, you're going to be ready fairly soon. That's actually quite shocking. Uh, oh, hello. Got a massive bonus there. Nice. Uh, we'll want the advanced landing. If we can have that for when we invade, that'd be lovely. Right, is there anyone who is substandard? Yeah, there actually are a few. Nearly there. Mostly foreign units. Come on. A little bit more. You can do it. Is it just those two units? Because if it is... No, we've got another unit. Eh, they're close enough. I'll let them practice a tiny bit longer, mainly because I'm waiting for a couple of these to be done. Actually, these are going to take quite a while. Nice go as well. Japan is, of course, going to be the massive pain in the ass to get rid of. The problem is, as soon as we get rid of Japan, I'm afraid that the Soviet Union might attack us, and if the Soviet Union attack, I'm going to be in the way. And I need my forces over here, not over there. That's my fear. Right, you done yet with that whole training regime? No? Almost. Oh, I just can't leave one hanging. Come on. There we go. 97. 98. 99. Well, that took you long enough. Right, 100. Okay, let's stop you training. Let you get back to full uh, organization. Right, I don't want you over there too long. You might get, like, attacked by the air. Right, how are we doing supplies? Uh, we are short on towed rocket artillery and motorized. By the time you're out there, will we have it? Probably ish. Give or take a little bit. Now yeah, we can always lower these later. Okay, yeah, we should be good. Uh, I would eventually like to put mechanized into the troop units because it'll help quite substantially with the survivability. But for now, yeah, okay. How are we doing with the building? Almost finished. A little bit of scary thought. Right, uh, let's grab engineering company. Now, how much do I send? I think I send half of you. And then I will assign you a field marshal. And I'll assign you our general. And I don't care. Normally I'd have split into half and two of two armies of just less than 24. They'd be 26 and 26. But they don't need to suffer. Like, they're suffering negatives. But so what? They're just, like, guarding land. Like, I just need to stay here just in case the Soviet Union attacks. You, on the other hand, I need to um, transfer them all over to 
here. I'm not sure we have the tech yet for this large naval invasion, but we will soon. Do we have the tech? Yeah, we're 75 days away. Jet Fighter 1, lovely. In which case, uh, we're going to need to start making some jet fighters, aren't we? Um, how far is that? Five years. Oh god, that's going to take a long time. Yeah, there's no way we can get the about, like, bonuses. We're going to have to start going down the strategic bomber route. Uh, yeah, you, you are going to be... Actually, you are not going to be aircraft. I'm just going to give it aircraft separately. Where is it? Jet. Jet fighter. There we go. This mech comes after the jet fighter. Uh, is there anything else we want in here? No? We're still working on upgrading the tanks. I think. Yeah, nearly done. No resistance, which is nice. Right, and our three subs are going to go down to here. This is where we're going to like make port for the moment before we actually start uh, telling them to guard this area. Republican Spain exists in the Balearic Isles. Good for you, Republican Spain. Uh, United Kingdom. All your troops on the south coast to prevent what threat there is literally no one around I have no idea these days how's the army doing traveling excellent uh, got a few more tanks up here I could train them I can't bother modern tank Awesome. We'll do something with that in a minute once we've got our tank destroyers. Right, how long are you going to take to do that when you get there? A long time. Wow. A long time. Have they changed it so there's no cap on naval invasions? It's just takes a lot of time. No? Well, it takes less time, but still, it's not something I expected. Uh, United Kingdom, what do we want of you? Rubber. Of course we do. Oh, where did the rubber suddenly go? They're just not providing me with any. Alright, Netherlands, you can give me the rubber. I don't know what's happening with your exports. And we have three civilian factories. This is weird. Having three civilian factories. Cool. And this, uh, feeling ages. What we're going to do, I think, is we're going to chuck down a lot of military factories in places that I, you know, I, I know. I can guarantee are probably going to be mine. Like, Brandenburg's probably a bad bet. Uh, much more important is when we do that with the nuclear factories, though. Uh, nuclear power plants. Those ones are going to really matter. We can do Brandenburg. It's a nuclear that we've got to worry about. Once we've got that, I think that's time to start pumping out some nuclears. Ah, we can only have one nuclear in each area, isn't it? Right, so in fact, we probably want to cancel. Actually, not, not cancel. One less, one less, one less, one less, one less, one less. And that way we can put nuclears all over here. Yeah, that'll do for now. The ball rolling there. Uh, it looks like we've lost a couple of troops on the way over so far. It happens. Add the French troops I've just discovered to that.
Reserved convoys. Okay, we need to produce more convoys. That's understandable. One tank destroyer. Not a Soviet Union, because they will not like me in future. We're probably going to end up at war. Uh, we managed to get the tank destroyer, so that is awesome. Don't need anything else in that tree ever again. Land Doctrine we completed. Uh, yes, we'll start new researching nuclear bombs. Why not? United States. Insufficient. Uh, United Kingdom? And the Netherlands. And... Colombia. I think we just required a lot of oil because we've got a load of uh, convoys being produced. A lot of convoys. Right. You're doing that. Is there anything else that's desperate? Yes, we were going to switch over our tank production. So, right, tank production. Wherefore art thou tank production? Here we go. So we want to change you to modern tank. I'm going to create variant and modern tank. Wait, no, no. Your modern tank destroyer. Modern tank destroyer. So I need you to have like an anti-tank armament of plus five. The entire point about you is that you should be above 10 kilometers per second. So there we go. You should have a gun that's crazy high piercing, basically. And we get the reliability to 80. That seems good. Save. And then we go, yes, I would like Modern Tank Destroyer, Mark 1. It's sad that it goes all the way back to zero there. Don't kind of think that should be the case, but eh. What do I know? Uh, modern Tank. Modern Tank. You should make sure that you're at 10.01, which is what the Tank Destroyer was. Increase your armor a little bit. Increase your reliability a little bit. Get that main gun to be pretty good. Main gun does tend to absolutely gut the speed, though. Seems good to me. And then we'll make you uh, modern tank Mark 1. Now we will need to... Ooh, that's a lot of chromium. We will need to switch around the template to be able to actually use that, but we're going to fight him soon enough. Right. Wow, we need a lot of chromium. Hi, Soviet Union. I'm afraid I can't get it off you. I'm going to get it off France instead. We need more? Oh, it just hasn't realized we're actually good. You're not using these. Yeah, I will be soon enough. Don't worry. All right, our invasion is planned. We have the skills. We have the technology. Wow, that is a very long preparation. Normally it's a set amount of time, like 77 days or something. Has it changed? Hmm. And you are taking a lot of attrition because you're all on the same tile. Of course you are. Uh, ooh, you want new technology. Eek. Um, I guess we'll do Air Doctrine. Because we have a 50% discount and we are going to eventually have some fighters. Are we actually producing fighters? Not quite yet. We're gonna get there. Uh, we've got to fill out this little bit that we have left. In fact, we have a load of infantry equipment being produced right now here. I think we can drop this one. This is just upgrade needed, so we can decrease the number there. There we go. Our very first fighter is being produced. Two a month. We're gonna need that to speed up a little bit. Quite a lot, if we're completely honest. But we will get there. And it'll be glorious when we do. I've been at Erosium. This is going to end this episode. Uh, soon, we're going to have a bit of invasion of Japan, end the war. And then the question is, will the Soviet Union want to fight us? Or will that be a uh, Cold War in the making? Also, what amount of Germany will Denmark get to keep? Ideally, I want to be able to run from here to here. I mean, I'd love to get hold of Berlin, but unlikely to happen. Um, so if I could run from, you know, Mediterranean to uh, Black Sea, that'd be, that'd be grand. Hmm. 
Anyway, I've been Aaron. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And of course, it's not Black Sea, it's Baltic Sea. I was like, I'm pretty sure I got that wrong. I did. Baltic Sea. Uh, the Baltics. Anyway, uh, yeah, until next time, my trophy sucks and stay shiny. <laughs>